So I was just given something by one of my buddies, uh, Mod My Gauges, Shane Gaston. It is a switchback relay kit that should work on my 15 Concours or Hayabusa. But today it's going on the Concours. He's actually putting another one together for my Busa. Um, comes with an LED socket. It does have a projector on the end. Uh, granted, it does have these, which he doesn't really like, but uh, hey, we'll put it on there anyway. Simple enough. These should clip into the original sockets. And off of them, to power the white LEDs, are just some leads that are basically put together and tied, and then i got to run this one wire to another voltage source. I think I'm going to end up running it to those two center marker lights that I have just for activation and power. This kit should automatically cut off the white light and change it to amber when I hit my signal. So we will see what happens. I just got to pull off the bodywork, see if I can get to that signal on both sides and get it installed. So I'm about 15 minutes in or so, you know, got my panels taken apart. You know, my one problem really with this bike is the MC Enterprise cages. They're awesome, but I wish I could remove this piece a little bit better. I guess I could end up cutting the small sections out so I can actually get the bars to pull this fairing piece off. It might be something if I continue to work on this bike that, because I just can't pull this in. This thing I can loosen, this one I can loosen fairly easily. Anyway, different subject. Uh, so I've got it to where, again, 10, 15 minutes in, I can pull the signals out. So you basically, you're gonna pull out this bulb. You won't need that anymore. It was actually really easy to get the first one. Um, I'm gonna disconnect this wire, that way, just worry about that a little bit later. Say so this socket, which he supplies for you, will actually go into that original socket, okay? Uh, if you see here, I may end up fastening it, but that is the original headlight socket. It's got the new bulb retrofit type thing. And then the old bulb goes right in there, and it I thought it was gonna be a tight squeeze just due to the rubber, but it went in there nice and easy right away, no problems. Um, so technically, I should have turn signal function available but I will have to run this black wire. Again, I took off my nose cone and I'm gonna end up running it to one of these front two bulbs right here. That way it will activate the white light which will stay on all the time until I hit the signal. So right now I'm just putting the socket in here and uh, I'll come back hopefully once I get it all buttoned up and should be done. Keep in mind, I have to button everything up, but I'm pretty much done with the install. Um, again, under here, I just kind of loom the wires. I'm going to hook these up a little higher, and I don't like to use these as all that much, but it should be fine. It's drawing low voltage. Um, let's see how this thing works. So. Okay. So they are on and they are pretty bright. Just to give you an example, the 10 watt fog lights are underneath there and they're just about as bright. Uh, again, they do have a little projector on them. Seems to work pretty well. Let's see if I can hold the camera. No hyper flash from it, uh, which is nice. Due to the resistor, again, switch over to the other side. And if you watch it, I'll cancel it. Slight delay and goes back to the white. Let's see what else I've got. So emergency flashers.
back to the white. Awesome install. You know, it doesn't cost you 300 bucks to do it. Again, talk to Shane Gaston at modmygages.com or on Facebook, modmygages. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. Looks good.